In the Sutra on the Buddha's bequeathed teachings, the Buddha taught, O monks, if you want to seek liberation, nirvana, you should avoid noise and dwell alone in tranquil places. Those who dwell in solitude for Dharma practice and for the path to liberation are respected by the King of Gods and celestial beings. You should leave your own and others' groups to dwell in tranquil places and reflect on your inner mind to eliminate suffering, which is desire, ignorance. Following the bequeathed teachings of the Buddha under the instruction of Tai Tik Truk Tai Min, the Sangha of Bhavang Pagoda enters the forest and practices Buddhist asceticism, heading for the supreme, perfect enlightenment. The monks here have to face numerous difficulties, namely hot weather, chilly wind, rainstorm, and the danger of animals and insects. Các ngài tâm kiên cố, ly dục sống thánh đạo, khéo chân chánh thiện hành. Lời Phật Gotama chứng đạt được quả vị, thể nhập đạo bất tử, hưởng tịch tịnh dễ dàng. Chính tăng bảo như vậy là châu báu thù diệu, mong với sự thật này được sống chân hạnh phúc. Vì như cột trụ đá Khéo y tựa lòng đức Dầu gió bão bốn phương Chẳng thể nào lay động Ta nói bực chân nhân Liễu ngộ tứ thánh đế Cũng tự tại bất động Trước tám pháp thế gian Chính tăng bảo như vậy Là châu báu thù diệu Mong với sự thật này được sống chân hạnh phúc Bhavang Pagoda's meditation forest is a secluded place from the bustling city situated behind the pagoda. With tranquil nature, this is an ideal place for ascetics to practice meditation and Buddhist asceticism, keep the body and mind in good morality and virtues, and abandon all temptations. A Buddhist ascetic has three robes only, the upper, middle, and lower robes. These are the only three pieces of clothing a monk has throughout his life and are only replaced when they are worn out beyond repair.
In the Buddha's time, monks went on alms rounds with their alms bowls. An alms bowl is an item to contain enough food for an ascetic's meal. When monks walk for alms, they only take enough food they can eat and do not ask for more. Eat only from the alms bowls is the sixth among the 13 Buddhist asceticism practices that the Buddha taught the monks. Just as what the Buddha taught, monks and nuns at the Bhavang Pagoda adopt the practice of alms rounds not only to sustain themselves and maintain good health to practice and propagate the Dharma, but also to carry out the noble vow of connecting people with Buddhism, giving them the chance to practice generosity and making offerings in order to sow good seeds into the merit field that is the noble Sangha. Ascetic practitioners equally go on alms rounds without discriminating the rich and the poor givers, judging or being picky about the food. After collecting alms, monks find a seat and start eating. And that's their only meal in one day. Alms rounds bring a lot of benefits to the ascetics. It lessens disturbance in their mind, eliminates their hubris, trains their patience and endurance towards insults. Ascetic practitioners meditate and sleep under the trees. However, after every three nights, they have to move to another location in order not to grow attached to a good resting place. At night, they practice walking meditation and concentration to eliminate the desire for sleep. Modeling themselves after the great world-revered one and his holy disciples, the Sangha of Bhavang Pagoda wholeheartedly practice Tutanga asceticism. In the heart of the wild forest, regardless of day or night, they diligently practice the Dharma to correct their body and mind, overcome all temptations and desires, reach for true enlightenment, and bring happiness to sentient beings.